So did the Toronto Raptors make a major mistake not trading Kyle Lowry for literally anything at the 2021 trade deadline? What is going on, everybody? How is everybody doing today? Yeah, we are going to be rebuilding the Toronto Raptors post Kyle Lowry. The Raptors are currently 19 and 30 at the moment of this recording. They are the 11th seed in the Eastern Conference, and they didn't decide to trade arguably their best player at the deadline even if it means they weren't going to get exactly what they wanted. So there was a report that they wanted Matisse Thibel, Tyrese Maxey, two first round picks from the Sixers. I think that's a little much. I think you could have gotten one of those from each side, one first round pick and maybe Tyrese Maxey could have got it done. Maybe you weren't going to get Tower Hero, but you could have got Duncan Robinson. I really want to want Taylor Horton Tucker, but I think like, yeah, getting Tyrese Maxey would have been huge for this team going forward and maybe an additional first round pick, but they ended up not trading him and they might lose him for nothing in free agency. And it's like, okay, if you don't trade him, he can um, leave in free agency and you can still try to be good this year, but you guys are 11 games under 500. Maybe you end up as the eight seed, which is going to be tough, but maybe you do because you could be in the playing tournament and such. To what? Lose to Brooklyn or Philly probably in round one? I Like this Raptors team isn't probably championship bound therefore i don't really think that that trade or not trading him was really worth it to try to compete like if they were a two or a three seed yeah i would be all for not trading him but it's like you should have just traded him lose a little bit less don't make the playoffs get a top 10 pick on draft night and they also trade away norman powell for gary trent i actually like that trade a lot just because gary trent is a little bit younger i believe he's five years younger and he should be getting a little bit less on the open market than norman powell and yeah i'm kind of hoping that this raptors team does not make the playoffs because I think I just want to get like a better draft pick and go forward with the team. I don't know why OG and Adobe is listed as a power forward. Yeah, we're going to change it into a small forward. So uh, it's going to be, I guess, allowing Van Vliet and Nobi Siakam Boucher with Gary Trent as the sixth man. So here's what the starting five is going to look like. Actually, I think I'm going to go 30 to Lowry and 34 to Siakam. Yeah, so it's going to be Lowry, Van Vliet, and Anobi Siakam, Chris Boucher with the eventual Gary Trent Jr., DeAndre Brembury. Aaron Baines, and Malachi Flynn, hoping this team does not make the playoffs because it's looking like that won't happen for them in real life. And then we can go we can go forward with a top draft pick, and I would love to have that. So yeah, I'll see you guys at the end of the year and kind of crossing my fingers that this team does not make the playoffs. All right, perfect. We finished up as the 11th seed here in the Eastern Conference, and that's currently where the Raptors are at in real life. So I will definitely take that. Here are the awards after this season. We aren't going to have any. Kyle Lowry was open to a contract extension, but I said that this is the video where we're not going to bring back Kyle Lowry we're going to let him walk in free agency. We get nobody on the All-NBA teams and yeah, nobody really at all. So like I said, we are the 11th seed in the Eastern Conference. We will have hopefully a top 10 pick on draft night. Siakam was our winning scorer with 19 points and oh, he was bad. He was not very good this year. Van Vliet, he was really good this year for us. Shout out to Van Van Vliet. Gary Trent was very solid. He's going to get a contract extension in the offseason. OJ Nanobi was solid. Need him to be a little bit better next year. And that is kind of our core four. It's going to be Van Vliet at the one, Trent at the two, and Anobi at the three, Siakam at the four, and probably Chris Boucher at the five. And then we're going to really just have to work on our bench. Kyle Lowry was pretty good for us, but... He's going to walk. And then there's Malachi Flynn. He'll be our backup point guard. And some of these guys might be replaceable. So let's just simulate the playoffs and see who wins the 2021 NBA championship. And it is the New Orleans Pelicans. They beat the Sixers in five. Probably don't see that happening. But uh, yeah, nobody really retires on our team. Melo retires. He goes to the Hall of Fame, right? Yeah, he did. Okay, so we are going to reject all of these. And it is lottery time. You know, we can watch it live. We're supposed to be a pick eight. Hoping we don't drop to nine. Definitely not 10. And we'll see if we can uh, maybe get lucky and move up in the draft. So we'll what we really want is no team to move up behind us because that means there's a good chance that we could move up or at least a better chance. So yeah, no teams have moved up yet, including Boston. Let's go. Just two teams left and let's just hope they don't move up because then it's not going to look good for us. Okay, the Knicks don't move up. Let's go. And just tell me pick nine isn't us. Just tell me pick nine isn't us. And it isn't. Okay, so the Knicks get 10 and nine. Can we get lucky? I'm because it's going to spoil it for me in the bottom left. And do we get lucky? Do we get lucky? Come on, come on. No, we don't get lucky. We are going to have the eighth pick in the draft. Okay, you know, at least we don't drop. I'll stay at eight. Uh, that is the order. The Spurs end up with the third pick. And we're going to definitely keep Nick Nurse. Adrian Griffin doesn't have great ratings. And Jama Malilala? Malilala? Malilala. Malilala. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. We're going to fire Griffin just because his ratings aren't very good. And it took me a minute to pronounce Malilala's last name because I'm, I don't know, dumb and it's early in the morning for me. Uh, so let's see here who I want to sign. Chip Engelin, always a trusty guy. So let's go out and sign him. Glenn Howard we can keep, even though it's only two training camps. So, you know, I won't fire him. I'll be nice to him today. And then we can just pick up Cuba Gooding and we can pick up Kevin Nicholson. And we don't get Cuba Gooding. I don't know why. So we're going to sign Cecil North. 
So it is NBA draft time. Let's take a look at who the mock drafts have us taking at pick eight. Evan Mobley, I mean, that's the dream, but why would he fall to me at eight? I mean, yeah, if Evan Mobley's there, I would love to get him, but I don't think he will be. Kofi Cockburn's interesting, but I don't think he's really that much of an upgrade over Chris Boucher. And I'm looking to upgrade the bench, so it's more going to be like a win player I'm going to target in this draft. Don't think I'm really going to make any trades. We're not going to have really cap space at all in free agency, so let's start this draft. And yeah, Kuminga went one, Mobley two, Green three, Suggs four, Brown five, BJ Boston. And you're telling me Kate Cunningham's still on the board. What? Why is Kate still on the board? Cade should be going. Why is Cade still here? The number one ranked. Why wouldn't anybody take the number one ranked prospect? Um, okay. Uh, I feel like I gotta do it. I have to do it. I'm taking Cade Cunningham. Yeah, he's there for me on the board. Why wouldn't anybody take the number one player? That's not even like this draft class is bad because he's listed as number one. So it's a good draft class. It's just 2K's dumb and why would they have the original seven picks in front of me? Take the number one player in the bo on the board. So, yeah, I don't get a wing player. We get the best player in the draft. We can just act like we won the lottery. So that's how we ended up with Cade. And I was mocked Kofi Cockburn with my first round pick, and I got him in the second round. So that is just a, like, amazing draft we just pulled off. Actually, that's absurd. Yeah, let's go. So picking up the team option on Chris Boucher, most definitely. Hood, no. Bembry, yes. And Paul Watson, no. So I don't know if we're going to really have any cap space. Gary Trent is restricted. That's what I thought. Let's go. Not going to bring back Kyle Lowry. So at this current moment, we have one, two, three, four, five. Uh, four, five, six, seven guys. Uh, Gary Trent would be eight. So we can look to sign like a wing and there we can actually afford somebody. Wow. We have 25 million cap. Ooh, okay. And I think I'm going to look to bring in Evan Fournier of the, uh, well, I guess now of the Boston Celtics. Can I offer him like 19 mil a year for three? Uh, we'll lock him up for four years and we'll have a team option on the end of it. And would he like that? Because I think that means I can still bring back Gary Trent. Beautiful. Oh, it's only 1.66 mil. Yeah. So uh, we are going to renounce the rights on everybody, even Kyle Lowry. We are going to sign Evan Fournier and add him to our bench. Yeah, we're going to have Evan Fournier and probably Gary Trent coming off the bench because I will have to start. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Kid Cunningham. So yeah, Kyle Lowry has yet to sign anywhere. We could just take a look at, uh, let me just see if he hasn't signed yet. So yep, Lowry doesn't even have any offers yet. Damn. So we'll, we'll just keep an eye on him. Okay, he has an offer. It is a very cheap offer from the Pacers. I'm sure he will end up accepting something. And I'm sure if we offered him that deal, like on the last day of free agency, he'd come back to sign with us. But I don't think that's the case. So let me just take a look. Kyle Lowry still only has one offer. Now I want to lock up Gary Trent long term. I don't want him to be like, I mean, we might have bird rights on him next year, but yeah, I need a team to throw a contract at him so then I can match it, but that is not going to happen, unfortunately. Lowry might accept that one-year deal with the Pacers. Oof, okay, so yeah, his market, not great. We get Trent back on the qualifying offer, not what I wanted. So if we take a look, did the Pacers end up getting him? They did not. So did Lowry end up signing anywhere? No, he didn't even accept that deal, so he's going to open up the season as a free agent, and oh! I want to sign him to that. I want to sign him to that. But no, this is the post Kyle Lowry Raptors rebuild. I got to stay true to my cut. Even though this video has not gone like the way I thought it would. Just because we got Cade Cunningham in this draft. And that's way better than what I thought would have happened. And we do have two on top potentials. So what I want to do is send Pascal Siakam to perimeter shooting. Because he's still going to be like our number one scoring option. And I'm going to send Fred Van Vliet to combo guard. He will start off as the shooting guard again next year. I thought he would be the point guard because I didn't plan on getting Cade. But since we got Cade, yeah, it's got to be a lineup like this. This with Trent and Fournier as a six man. Perfect. So here is going to be the starting five. We're not playing Cade 30 plus minutes. He's a rookie. He'll uh, earn those minutes. And then we got Van Vliet at the two. And it'll be at the three. Sacrament at the four. And Boucher at the five with a bench of Fournier, Trent, Malachi Flynn, and Kofi Cockburn. I'm a big fan of this team. And I think we can be right back in the playoffs next season. And we come in at sixth in the power rankings. We'll see you guys at the end of season number two, technically. And we'll see if this team will maybe make the playoffs once again. The first game of the year ends up with a win, so we can just take a quick look at the box score. Okay, Van Vliet. Okay, Fournier. I'm excited about this team this season. Oh, wow. This team doesn't make the playoffs. What a disappointing season then. I really thought we'd be back in the playoffs. Evan Fournier even won six... <laughs> yeah, I mean, not like that changes anything or makes a difference, but damn. I really thought we would have made the playoffs, even as like a five seed as well. The only player that we got on any of these teams was Cade Cunningham on all-rookie first team. I mean, I guess I got to give him more minutes next year. But damn, we just missed out. We went over 500. We went 42 and 40. And usually in the Eastern Conference, that will make the playoffs. But the Magic beat us out. Damn. Okay. So we are going to have another lottery pick once again. Siakam averaged over 20 points. I mean, Van Vliet averaged 20. This is pretty much what I wanted out of everybody. Wow. Okay. All right. Ananobi averaged 13 points. He shot 41 from the field. 36 from 30. Cade was somewhat, yeah, he was pretty efficient in his rookie season. Fournier was great. Gary Trent Jr. was great. Uh, Van Vliet was 
50, 40, 90. Siakam was a lot better this year. And it's funny to see that Trent, who shot better from Wade. And now Fournier was definitely more efficient, but that Trent, or who had a better true shooting? 61 to 64, yeah. Because Fournier would be Trent out for six men of the year. And then uh, Chris Boucher averaged 13 and nine with two blocks, 41 from three. Like, I'm going to give him a contract extension in the offseason. I just really thought that we wouldn't make the playoffs. Damn. And it's the Denver Nuggets beating the Brooklyn Nets in seven games. I guess Michael Porter Jr. and Aaron Gordon put them over the edge. So, uh, yeah, player retirements. We got nobody on our team. And Dwight Howard is your Hall of Fame. And he's beginning to show he retired, rightfully so. So we will have most likely the 14th pick in the draft. I don't think we're going to get lucky here. Yeah, we don't get lucky. And we stay at 14. That's fine with me, though. Uh, I mean, like, yeah, adding another lottery pick is cool. I just thought... I would have rather made the playoffs as an eight seed and even gotten bounced in round one would have been fine with me. So it is draft night. I don't think I'm going to make a trade. I don't know really who the 14th pick will replace in the rotation because I kind of wanted to just run the team back uh, unless we get a good center and it's like better than Kofi Cockburn or a point guard that's better than Malachi Flint. I don't know. Jaden Hardy is still on the board. Uh, yeah, I'm going with Jaden Hardy at 14. And let's just see kind of where Hardy is or what's his overall. He's a 78. I feel like I gotta play him, but that's just another wing on the team. Picking up the team options on Flynn and Cockburn. I guess we will roll with a 10-man rotation next year. Trent qualifying offer again. Do I have Burvites on him? Okay, good. I burn rights on him. I want to give him about uh, 20 mil eventually. Boucher, same thing. Bembry, don't need to bring back. So we signed Trent and Boucher. That's all I needed this offseason. And I'm done. Why did I sign Trent right away? Because then I'm just going to get him on the one-year deal. I'm so stupid. I really am. And I also want to see where Kyle Lowry played last year. I can't believe I did that. I've been playing this game for how long and I forgot to do that. And look at that. He signed with Philly. He did. And he wants 17 mil a year. Is anybody even looking at him to, uh, or is anybody even offering him any contracts? Nope. So we'll see where he ends up. So player progression, Van Vliet up to an 88, Siakam 86. Yeah, he's not been really progressing as well as I want him to. I was hoping he would hit a 90 in this video. So like with Jaden Hardy, I feel like we got to go with a 10-man rotation, but... I like, I, I like the minutes, the, how they were allocated last year that we could play like our two six men and Fournier and Trent a bunch of minutes coming off the bench and like still play the starters a ton. So I don't know. We'll figure it out. On top or system efficiency or what am I saying? Training camps. Wow. That was just an ultimate brain fart. We're going to send Ananobi to untap potential. Okay. It's KD plus. Kate is not a plus. So he's going on to potential. And then finally, I'm going to send like Chris Boucher there who is 29, but it's never too late. Better late than never. All right. So here is the starting five. Cunningham, Van Vliet, Ananobi, Siak. And Boucher, that's the best they can allocate the minutes with a five man bench with Flynn, Hardy, and Cochran at the end of it. It might change for the playoff system proficiency. Still three and a half stars. Boucher and Ananobi not helping us out all too much. I wonder if I like put Cockburn in there. Does it change it? No, definitely not. Okay. And if I looked at any other uh, systems, yeah, three and a half stars, the best. Third of the power rankings, we better make the playoffs this season. All right, there we go. We have our best season yet as we end up as the two seed in the Eastern Conference. And we were the fifth team in the power rankings. Atlanta got themselves a good one in J.D. Davison. He was the number one overall pick. Russ is sixth man of the year. Giannis, defensive player of the year. Most improved goes to Moses Moody in New York. And executive of the year, or excuse me, coach of the year went to Terry Sotson, I believe, executive the year was the same team so that would be neil o'shea so we take a look at all first team nobody we got there on base second team nobody on base third team nobody yeah we didn't get anybody at all but we're taking on chicago in round one they got james harden now okay they don't have kobe white and they don't have vucevic anymore no they do but they have deandre aiden what is this team this is pretty good we're screwed oh my god okay that is not the 17 i wanted to face at all here were the player stats. Van Vliet, he also didn't want to work on a contract extension. He wants to test for agency, but this was his season. It was pretty good. Siakam, 17 points, 8 rebounds, 4 assists, 45, 31, 89 splits. He wanted a $30 million contract extension. I mean, he's not really putting up the those numbers. So is he a trade candidate in the offseason? I don't know. I don't know. 16, 6, and 8 for Kate Cunningham, 53, 42, 85 splits. He was a beast. Uh, Gary Trent off the bench, absolute stud efficiency-wise. Evan Fournier, pretty good as well uh, this past season, efficiency-wise. Also, and Anobi shot 37 from three. You know what? I will take that. Boucher, 11 points, 8 and a half rebounds, 2 and a half blocks, 36 from three. If he's getting blocks and shooting well from three and getting over 8 rebounds tonight, I would definitely take that. And then there's Cockburn, Malachi Flynn, and Jaden Hardy. Uh, I don't know. Like, Cockburn isn't very good, but we don't really have a backup big. So, I don't really know. <sighs> okay, you know what? This is so risky. Let's go 15. We're going to play Boucher 31 minutes, and we'll give one more to Siakam. So the backup big is, I don't even know. I don't even know. Let's just see how this goes. Game one. Okay. If we're down 2-0, then I will make the switch to get a backup big again. But yeah, that's not good. Game two. Okay. We end up tying it up. We lose by eight. Gary Trent with 25, or we win this one by eight. Gary Trent with 25. Siakam uh, with a double-double. Cade with a triple-double. We got to go up 2-1. to one. Okay. We're down 2-1. to one. Oh, I got to do it. I got to put Kofi Cockburn back in the starting five. Or not in the starting five, but in the lineup. Malachi Flynn, you've been... Oh my God, he's been so efficient. So he's going to get 10. 
Yeah, we're just going to go 10 to all three of these guys. It's just what we're going to have to do. All right, on to game four. Oh, my God, we're down 3-1. to one. Really, this is so disappointing. Just don't lose in five. Okay, 3-2. to two. Oh, We blow them out. Just force a game seven, please, please, on the road in the United Center. Okay, pretty good game so far. We're up by 19. We're up by 18. Okay, we are forcing a game seven. Can we come back down 3-1? to one? It is possible. We just got to win game seven here at home in the... It's not the American Airlines Arena, right? Isn't it Scotiabank now? So uh, good first quarter, good first half. Good first three quarters, and they blow through one lead. Beautiful. They blow it. We end up winning by 16. Uh, Siakam with 27. Cade with 27. Van Vliet with 23. And we're going on to round two to take on the Atlanta Hawks, who currently have J.D. Davison. Cam Reddish. Do they not have Trey Young? Wow. They didn't re-sign Trey Young. They have Chet Holmgren off the bench. What? Why wouldn't they re-sign Trey Young? What team is Trey Young on now? Let's see. Uh, if we go to point guards, he is on the Washington Wizards. So that's how Westbrook won six men of the year. Damn. So I think we can beat them without Trey Young. Uh, we ended up, yeah, beating them by 19 in game one. Cunningham and Van Vliet go off. Because they're asking a lot out of their rookie point guard, J.D. Davison. As we're up 2-0, we won by 22 points. Speaking of 22, they both scored 22. But uh, can we win game three? Yes, we can. We end up winning by eight. Davidson drops 34, but that was not enough. And we are one game away from going to the conference finals. And we do. We haven't been in the conference finals since 2019. And we do just that. And we are taking on the Brooklyn Nets, who don't have James Harden. But let me guess, they have Steph Curry. No, they don't. They just have uh, Kyrie and KD, which is still great. But better than not having Harden, or usually they sign like uh, Steph Curry. So I will definitely take that. Here are the playoff stats. Van Vliet as a leading score. He's been pretty efficient. Cunningham, he's been very efficient as well. Siakam, not shooting great from three, but, you know, he's been efficient from the field and from the line. I will take that. Bunch of guys in double figures. So can we beat the Brooklyn Nets? Game one, we lose. Okay, we lose by 40. That is not what I wanted to see. All right, well, now this is a must-win game, too. Thank you. We needed that. Okay, 16-point victory. We held them below 100 points after they scored 140 in game one. All right, let's go up 2-1 to because going up 2-1 to would be massive as we are on the road, so this is tough. And we're only down by five. Can we come back? Down by 10 now. Okay, we came back a little bit. Come on, we take the lead. Let's go. And we lose the lead. And we're down by four. We're two and a half minutes. You know what? Let's play. I, I like hopping in these games. It's fun. Being on Hall of Fame against KD, though, is going to be rough. Now, I don't even know who would be on KD. Now, uh, we got Gary Trennan. So, it would be Evan Fournier is currently in. Oh, well, that's just nice. Now, we're down by seven. All right, but Cade guarded by Kyrie. This should be a mismatch, and I can't get inside. Kick it out to Fournier. He's wearing number 94. What? Uh, but let's get a screen. I think this is just two I got to uh, use all the time is Cade. Cade to the rim. Cade with the dunk. Back down by five. Yeah, because currently we have Evan Fournier guarding KD. And if I had three timeouts like the Nets, oh my God, are you serious? I don't want to use a timeout, but I really got to get some subs in. All right, we're going to have to use that timeout. All right, so we're going to eventually need a three. And Kyrie's kind of sagging off a little bit, so why not pull it with Cade? Ah, that's risky. That was dumb. All right, can Siakam guard KD? Uh, let's see, but we got Van... Oh, let's go! Uh, and Anobi gets that seal. I think I'm going to pull it for three with Van Vliet, please. Oh, come on! I'm so desperate for a three. And that was such a bad shot. Kyrie from three, but that was a great contest by Ananobi. K with the rebound. I would pass that up to Ananobi. Oh, I want to take a three. K just go right at Kyrie. I probably should have kept doing that. I was hoping that was an end one. Down by five. I mean, there's 90 seconds left, so we need a defensive stop. I mean, this is the player I would want on KD. Yeah, him or Ananobi. I'm going to play help D with Boucher, and that wasn't much of help D. All right, we got Van Vliet coming off the screens here. Four, three, please, please, please. I need that. Oh, in and out. Are you kidding me? Yeah, if they score here, it's over. And I foul. At least they're not in the bonus. Oh, let's go. I played that so well. I've actually never done that before. That was actually really nice. Oh, I should have took that three with Ananobi. I don't know what I'm doing. Find Boucher. And if he missed, okay, he's going to the line. I mean, it stops the clock a little bit. He could put us within five, but he's got to make both free throws and he's not great. Mm, oh, that hurts so much. Oh my God. At least he goes one for two. Damn. Down by two threes. So Siakam, can you guard KD Boucher? I need you to sag off. Mitchell Robinson is not going to scare us from three. So I just got to play help D. Uh, let's just see what we can do. The screen and KD pulls up. That's not good. Okay, he missed that. Let's go in a great rebound there by Ananobi. Up to Cade. Over to the Siakam. Mm, I don't want to go. Okay, over to, I don't know what I'm doing, but we got Siakam guarded by Bruce Brown. This is such a mismatch. Come on, Siakam. If you don't score here, I give up on you. I give up on you, please. Thank you. It's a four. Oh, wait. There's only 24 seconds left. I need to take a quick three. That is such bad clock management by me. And Kyrie Irving's at the line, and he's a phenomenal free throw shooter. So, yeah, this isn't great. So, I trust Cade because Cade's a 
sick rookie that he's just going to pull up here and hit this three. That's going to get stolen. Uh, actually, no, it's not. Let's go, Van Vliet. Uh, kick it over to Cade. Cade, I need you to get this three here. Uh, can you give me a screen, Boucher? Boucher, give me the screen. There we go. Cade for three, three. Not a great release. Eh, this game's over. All right, so we're down two to one. Can we maybe come back and end up tying the series up? It's been going back and forth a little bit. We are looking good right now. Don't blow it. Don't blow it. And we end up winning by 13. Very nice. Van Vliet drops 27. Siakam and Fournier with 20 apiece, and Cade had a double-double. All right, game five rubber match back in Toronto. This is huge, and we don't show out in the first quarter, but we show out in the second quarter. All right, we're up by six now in the third. Don't blow this, and it's looking like we were blowing it. We're going to blow this, aren't we? I'm going to close my eyes. Please tell me we didn't blow it. Please tell me we didn't blow it, and we blow it. I knew it. I knew it. We were going to blow it. All right. Uh, it's been going back and forth. Win L, win L, win L. Can we maybe keep that trend up or are we going to lose in six? I mean, good second quarter there. We are up by double digits. Yep. That trend is going to continue and we're going to a game seven. All right. Game seven. It's in Toronto. We had so many guys in double figures there. Come on. Can we please win this game? Just don't get blown out. Don't get blown out. Okay. Great. Um, not a great first quarter. We kind of blew that at the end of it. All right. But a great second quarter. Good third quarter. Just kidding. We kind of blew it. Oh my God. Just stay, just stay in it. Just stay in it. Up by one with three, uh, just under four minutes. Tie game with two minutes left. Screw it. I'm hopping in. I know this is dumb, but I'm hopping in. We're at home though. Maybe we'll get a different result. Is Kate out of here? Kate is not out of here. We do have Gary Trent. Uh, Van Vliet is guarded by, I don't even know who that is, but I don't know what type of defense that was by Kevin Durant as I go right by him. And I do have two timeouts though. So I think I'm going to call a timeout after this possession. Oh, they use it for me. Let's go. Siakam is your player of the game. Okay. I mean, it's looking solid for us right now because there's, because we're winning. So if we can get some stops, that would be nice. Uh, oh, play that. Let's go. Oh, it's going to go out of bounds. All right. So you got to play the Kyrie here. And then once you play the Kyrie, you got to play the Boucher and then you got to play the, ah, oh, just kidding. I messed that up. All right. Bruce Brown, what's he trying to do? He's guarded by Ananobi. Ananobi playing some great defense defense on him. I don't like this separation. No way he hits that, right? Let's go. Rebounded by Cade. That is his fourth rebound. Let's push it a little bit. See if we can score quickly. Who's picking him up? Uh, I don't want to mess this up. Oh, but we have Charles Bassey on him. Okay. Okay. This is an isolation spin move. Get inside and he gets around him somehow. Pull up. Let's go. Cade beast. All right. Up by four. It's winner. Go home. They're running a three point. Just no threes, please. Just stay on KD. Go over the screen. Okay. Katie's giving it. Go to the rim. Just don't be an and one. Don't be a charge. Don't be a charge. Oh my God, Van Vliet. You're killing me. And they're in the bonus. You're killing me. Shamit, please miss one. I think that's, oh no, that's Derek White, not Shamit. Uh, and he's going to go two for two. Oh, Van Vliet, come on. All right, we just need to score on this possession and we're chilling. And Cade's going to go to the rim. Get that over Kyrie. He is so freaking good. I can't believe he fell to eight. Literally the luckiest thing ever. And that's like winning the lottery. I basically won the lottery. All right, just no threes. No threes. Uh, I don't like this. I don't like this. Just stay on Kyrie. Okay, Siakam guarding Kevin Durant. Fade away. That's actually great defense. That's great defense. Get the board. Let's go. All right, so there's 50 seconds left. I mean, we can still try to score quickly. Oof. Cade could have got inside. Over to Ananobi. I don't want to take it through with Ananobi. Like, do I trust him? Not really. I just trust inside shots at the moment uh, because last game we were so bad from shooting threes. So let's get the screen. Cade to the rim again. No, no, no. Okay, I don't even know what I'm doing right now. Out to Cade. Come on, give me a screen. Give me a screen, Boucher. I don't know. Just go to the rim with Cade. And he's going to get to the rim. Please, please. He misses it. Boucher doesn't get the rebound. No. Oh, my God. Bruce Brown for three. Oh, no. Okay, he misses it. Okay, get the board. No, no. Okay, just no threes. No threes. All right, we're going to get the final shot no matter what. Just no threes. Come on. Siakam guarding KD. Van Vliet, I need you to get over. I need you to get over. And Nobi, stay on. Oh, that was a nasty spin move. Okay, okay. I don't know why Bruce Brown's trying to do this himself. And he, wow, that's a tough shot. Damn, Bruce Brown coming up clutch for the Nets. I thought he was going to miss it. All right, so I don't care how cheesy he might be. We're doing pick and roll with Cade. Six seconds left. Come on, give me the screen. Give me the screen. Siakam rolling to the rim. Siakam, come on. Yes, the longest tenure Raptor, I think. Let's freaking go. Oh, there's still a little bit of time left on the clock and they had a timeout. So yeah, Katie could hit a shot and absolutely screw me. But that is huge. The pick and roll works. Siakam doesn't blow that. Like I don't get one of those dumb layup animations. He gets it to the go. So no threes, but like, just don't let them score. <laughs> don't let them score. Honestly, I don't think they're going to go back to the uh, the inbounders. So I'm just going to play KD. No way. And an OB. Great contest. Boom. It's in and out. I don't care. We're going to the NBA Finals. We clutch it out and we come back down three to two. And we went two in a row. And we're in the NBA Finals. Let's go. We the North, baby. The Raptors back in the Finals for the second time in four years. Or no, it technically be five years. And who are we taking on in the Finals? Uh, the Blazers was one seed. They would have been cool. The, uh, do they still have Norman Powell? Oh, they don't even have Norman Powell anymore. But we're taking on the Thunder, who have added Jalen Suggs, Kelly Oubre, Evan Mobley, Patrick Baldwin, and Malik Monk. Oh, my God. Okay. So, just win game one, please. All right. We just went... 
Okay, we lost the close one. It's okay. Just don't go down 2 0, please. Please. Thank you. It's one to one. We end up winning by eight. I was just like, we didn't go through this bloodbath of a series just to lose in the finals, right? Yes, we're up two to one. We ended up beating them by 32 here in game three. All right, let's win game four. And we're up three to one. Let's go. So there's no possible way we blow a 3 1 lead. And oh my God. Oh my God. It was close. I knew I was being so cocky and I jinxed it saying that. They end up winning 2 1 answered game seven, but we win it. See, Occam is your finals MVP. Let's go. Oh, this route through team are NBA champions. We ended up blowing them out by 21 in game seven. But yeah, that is going to be for me. I hope you guys did enjoy. We pretty much got very lucky in this video landing Cade Cunningham. This was the post Kyle Lowry Toronto's Raptors rebuild. The two biggest names we added were Cade and Evan Fournier. Let me know if you think it was the right decision to keep Kyle Lowry and try to just hold on to his bird rights and free agency. Or do you think they should have traded him at the deadline? Let me know that down below. But yeah, thank you all for watching. I love you guys. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.